Hello YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. Hope you're all having a good day. Today I wanted to talk about EMPs and what can we do to protect our electronics, our solar panels, that type of thing. Uh, there's a lot I don't know about EMPs. I'm going to tell you that straight up front, okay? But the small things, the small amount that I do know, I think can help me protect my stuff, and it can help you protect your stuff as well. Uh, will it work? We'll have no idea until it happens. But uh, I do know this. If you do nothing, you will probably lose everything. So what I'm going to be using today, let's get into that first. Heavy-duty aluminum foil, okay? I would say heavy-duty because it's thicker, but you make your own choice on that. And parchment paper. Why wow, parchment paper, Farmer Son? It's available. I have it here. If I had access to regular, a bunch of sheet paper, like on a roll, I would use that. But what I have... It's parchment paper, non-stick. So I'm going to use that. Uh, my container. I found this. I guess uh, I think popcorn comes in these at Christmas time. These metal containers. Uh, they also have metal lids. Metal container, metal lid. So. When I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about layers of protection, okay? Five layers of protection is going to be better than one or none. So, from what little bit I know, let me get this stuff out of here. Uh, from what little bit I know, you need to uh, shield, you need to keep your product from touching the side or the bottom of the container. So, now, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I have some cardboard in the bottom of this thing. I also have some cardboard in the top, okay? It's probably easier to see on this, but I've got another one of these. These came out of a frozen pizza, so didn't have to buy nothing. I did have to cut it down to fit my lid and the bottom of my bucket, but I've got cardboard in both, okay? So that'll keep the thing from touching the top and the bottom. On the sides, on the inside of my bucket, I've been using this stuff. It comes uh, in packages that I receive. It's free. Uh, this is what I'm using to keep my items inside from touching the metal on the side of the container. So, that's what I'm using. Different layers of it. Lots of layers of that. So, uh that's not all I'm putting in here, but I'm trying to make this keep this video from being an hour long, okay? So, I would do more and tape it up here uh, closer to the top. Uh, I'm definitely going to do that, okay? But this is a quick run-through of what, what I do. And, uh, okay. Now, so that kind of explains my container. You can go and buy the metal, do uh, the metal uh, garbage cans. I've heard a lot of people do that. Actually, I've heard you can do several things with those. You can make uh, small root cellars out of those, bury the trash can, uh, and the lid, you know, maybe the lid's up close to the top of the ground. You can use that for a root cellar, you know, for like uh, refrigeration old style. But you can, uh, you can purchase things. I found this in the dump, okay. This was a freebie. It's a little on the rusted side as far as the outside part. It's a little rusty, but it's metal, okay? And as far as the lid goes, I do need to sand this down. This needs to be shiny metal in here, okay? You want metal touching metal. I'm going to take and uh, I've got my Dremel tool, and up here where the, you see where the seam is, I'm going to take and uh, knock all this paint off right here, okay? 
where when I put this lid on, it's metal on metal. That's important. You want a good metal seal. Uh, you don't want paint interrupting your metal. Because uh, I think that's what matters. Uh, it has to be completely sealed. Okay, so that covers my container. Uh, and trust me, I have bigger containers that uh, has my solar generator, my solar panels. I have larger items. They're diamond grid aluminum. But I've done similar things with it. Okay, put things inside and on the bottom and on the top. All that stuff. All right. The first item, uh, some of these I already have done, y'all. This is a power bank. Some of these I've already got done. Uh, but this radio right here, my weather radio, my hand crank weather radio with the solar panel on top, I use this a lot. So when the weather gets bad, I have to come in here, go through my container, and find it. So I have since started marking on the outside of the aluminum foil what each item is. So you don't have to open them all. You know. So, uh, but I use this item a lot. Uh, when, the, when the weather gets bad here, I do have a regular plug into the wall um, weather radio. But if the power goes out. I, I want access to knowledge, so I'm, I'm bad about coming in here and pulling this thing out and using it because I need it sometimes. So uh, the way I'm going to do this, y'all, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's better than doing nothing at all, okay? So we're going to start out with some parchment paper here. Remember, layers is the key, okay? Get your parchment paper. Um, uh, I've already got a piece that I've already used one time and pulled it out of, so I'm just going to reuse that, flatten it back out. So it's important to have a little layer of something in between your layers of aluminum foil. So I hear. According to all the scientists and all these type people, okay, who would know, I guess. So, like I said, if I had a thicker paper on a roll, I would use that as opposed to this, but this is what I have. So, to start off, I put the item in this paper. This is our first layer. And I roll it up like a enchilada or a taco or whatever. You know, I basically roll this up inside the uh, parchment paper. And uh, where's my tape? Where's my tape? My tape has run off. Anyway, I normally tape these. I put one piece of tape on here to keep this from trying to come undone. Uh, here's some shipping tape. It'll work, but uh, I normally... Where is my tape? Let me uh, pause. Okay. So I found my scotch tape. I had to open a new roll. Uh, but that's okay. I found my scotch tape. We got it taped right there in one spot. Now, I'm just going to twist these ends up kind of like a Tootsie Roll. That's kind of, you know, I do it like a Tootsie Roll. Uh, I wrap these ends up on the end like a giant piece of candy. I don't know. It, it works. Uh, put one more piece of tape on this bad boy because it's done. Come on, done on it. Well, I forget this is uh, parchment paper. Tape doesn't want to stick. Duh. Okay. Now we're going to take our heavy duty aluminum foil. And. This is a brand new box, so I've got to find the end of it. I should have done some more preparing before I started this video. Alright. If you uh, stick those little ends in, you're, you don't have to worry about your roll coming out. Not everybody knows about that, but it does help. Well, you have a generous size piece of uh, aluminum foil. Put your little Tootsie Roll in here in the middle. 
on one end and start rolling. Ripper is outside today because uh, he's soaking wet and I'm not letting him in until he dries off. So he's pitching a fit and wanting in. <laughs> so if you hear something in the background, it's probably him scratching on the door. All right. So now we're going to do our Tootsie Roll stuff right here again on the ends. Get that wound up. And then once you do that, I fold it over. Okay. Because you want a complete sealed in on that. So I'll Tootsie Roll it some and then I'll just fold it over with the aluminum foil part because it will conform to whatever shape you want it to be. That's your first layer. I would suggest doing this two more times. So a layer of parchment, a layer of uh, aluminum foil, layer of parchment, layer of aluminum foil, layer of parchment, layer of aluminum foil. I would do this three times, okay? I'm not going to do this one three times because I'm trying to make a video here. But that's how I'm doing these. And then when I get done with this, I'm putting them in my metal can with the cardboard and stuff around it so that none of this touches the edge of the metal on that. Along with these, okay, my radios, my power banks, my CB handhelds, uh, I've got a small solar panel in here as well, some other things. Anyway, but along with that, I'm putting all my cables. I'm using this uh, Olight bag to keep all my cables and stuff that go with all my electronics. I'm putting them all in here. They're going in the can as well. Uh, should I wrap these in aluminum foil? I don't know. I haven't been. Maybe I should. But I haven't been putting these in aluminum foil. So just you know, use that little pouch for that. Whatever you can find to use for that. Let's talk about antennas, okay? Biofang antennas, CB radio antennas, whatever antennas you have. Oh, uh, I got to do this one still. So, uh, I'm putting all these, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I want to put them all together and roll them all up and together. But then, when you go to get out one radio, you're going to have to find the wad of antennas and pull out the right one. So I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but uh, I am protecting the antennas as well. I think that's something vitally important. So, uh, along with radios, power banks, small solar panels, I'm also putting in extra headlights. I have extra headlights. Now, a couple of extras that was given to me. Uh, and those types of items. And I'm wrapping those up, doing them the same way. The three layers, you know, parchment paper, aluminum foil, parchment paper, aluminum foil, parchment paper, aluminum foil. And I'm just I'm doing the three layers. I've also got these cables here that I use to convert uh, a handy talkie to over to a regular uh, SO239, regular coax for a regular outside antenna. I'm putting these inside the bucket. I'm not wrapping these in aluminum foil. I don't think nothing can happen to these. I don't. There's no electronics in this. This is just wires, okay? So I'm not covering that up with aluminum foil. But I am putting it in the bucket because it's with all my other stuff. Uh, so that is my video today. Uh, also, I think it would be a good idea to put some of the 12-volt uh, the USB blocks in here with something like this. Uh, uh, you don't want, I mean, anything that's going to go in the wall could be damaged. So you may want to put one or two of those in there, wrap them up with aluminum foil and do that as well. But this is what I'm doing today. Will it work? I have questions about it. But it's better than doing nothing, y'all. Okay. That's what we got today for you. Uh, remember to do the things, stack your food, make sure you got ways to store and purify water. Very, very important things. I know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wrecker. I get it. Uh, I do have my seeds. 
Uh, I do have all my seeds uh, in their little baggies with their paper towel. So hopefully in four or five days we'll have some little seeds to put in cups. Or some little, uh, not seeds, but plants to put in some cups. So working on that. It is raining today, so we're doing this inside. I would rather have done this outside. But any of your bigger items, like your solar generators, I'm basically doing the same thing. It's just on a bigger scale, you know, big boxes or whatever. Uh, big metal boxes, you know. So uh, I'm rambling. This is Farm Sun Prepping. Y'all have a good day.